During the course of human history, most disputes and disagreements were eventually resolved through force. For many people, the introduction of the gun eliminated the need for negotiation. Why waste time talking when your problems could be settled at the speed of a bullet? The idea of not carrying a gun was a choice I made early on, a decision prompted partly by Eli's hard-won wisdom and partly by my fear that if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. But despite all my efforts to avoid them, guns have constantly altered my path, rarely with positive results. The universe, it would seem, was either mocking me for not taking up arms like everyone else, or it was merely testing my resolve to keep my conscience clean. Sometimes, I wondered what would have happened if I'd had a gun. How different would my journey have been? Would anyone have trusted me? Would all my appeals for peace and sanity have simply fallen on deaf ears? It was as if the gun itself represented fear, and without it, there was hope. You're gonna kill me now, aren't you? Ironically, the first time I realized how hard it is to kill a person, Delandre was there to save me. As a cop, it was her nature to assume the worst about people. That's why she carried a gun, and that's why I didn't. I simply refuse to assume the worst about others. I told you, I'm not the monster JD has made me out to be. I am still Russell Schumacher, the same man I was in New York. Instead of putting my faith in a gun, I put it in something I wanted to believe in, Delandre. I told you you'd never make it out here, but it was me I was talking about. I was afraid, until you showed me I didn't have to be. You're the reason I was able to leave New York, Russ. Delandre had put her faith in New Eden, but when I took away her fears, she found new hope. She vowed to help me turn off the EMP. So much had changed, but it still felt like old times. And with what was about to happen in Frisco, I was gonna need all the help I could get. 